Now we have confirmatory tests and explanations. So, first of all, for carbonate ion or carbonate radical. The first test to be performed is pass the carbon dioxide gas evolved above into lime water that is calcium hydroxide. It becomes turbid, but if gas is passed for a longer period, then the solution becomes colorless. It is because, see the reactions, the salt containing carbonate ion on heating with sulfuric acid, which is represented by 2H plus here, on heating we get CO2 gas plus H2. Then, CaOH2, the lime water, reacts with CO2 gas to give calcium carbonate that being insoluble form white turbidity or solution becomes milky plus H2O. Finally, if we go on passing carbon dioxide in excess of amount, then the reaction occurring is CaCO3 plus H2O plus CO2 in excess to give CaHCO3 Hull 2 aqueous that is calcium bicarbonate and that is a soluble compound therefore solution becomes colorless but if we boil this solution the white turbidity reappears due to decomposition of calcium bicarbonate according to following reaction that is Ca HCO3 Hull 2 on boiling that gives CaCO3 plus H2O plus CO2 or add more fresh calcium hydroxide to the solution that is calcium bicarbonate plus calcium hydroxide that to combine to give 2 CaCO3 plus 2 H2O CaCO3 that is calcium carbonate being insoluble will form white turbidity well the second test can be add some barium chloride solution to the aqueous solution of the carbonate salt a white precipitate of barium carbonate appears because carbonate ions and aqueous medium react with barium ions in the aqueous medium to form BaCO3 that forms a white precipitate. The third test we can perform is add some silver nitrate to the aqueous solution of the carbonate salt. A white precipitate of silver carbonate appears. The reaction is carbonate ion plus 2 silver ion in aqueous medium to give Ag2CO3 that is a white precipitate. This white precipitate is soluble in HNO3 and also in aqueous ammonia. Here is a very important note. A part of that reads if the given salt is a sulfide that on heating that with dilute sulfuric acid, SO2 gas will be evolved. And if this gas be passed into lime water, then it will behave similar to CO2 gas. Thus, sulfite ions plus 2H ions on heating will give SO2 gas plus H2O. Then CaOH Hall 2, the lime water, will react with SO2 gas to give CaSO3, calcium sulfide. That too being insoluble will form white turbidity plus H2. Finally, CaSO3 plus H2O plus SO2 gas in excess. 
As a result of this, we get C A H S O three H two. That is known as calcium bisulfite. But this compound is soluble, like calcium bicarbonate. Hence, solution becomes colorless. Hence, it is erroneous to confirm the presence of carbonate merely on the basis of lime water test. In such a situation, the presence of sulphide ion must be confirmed by the other tests, as we shall soon see. However, if you are given a mixture of two salts containing carbonate as well as sulphide, then both can be detected simultaneously by the following experiment. <laughs> 